Well, what we're going to be doing today is making a batch of worm tea from the worm castings that we harvested from the hungry bin the other day. If you haven't seen that video, I'll just link it up in the corner if you want to check that one out later. Um, so I'm just going to be using some of my rainwater from my rainwater tank here. It's more beneficial to use rainwater when working with worms than tap water. If you don't have access to rainwater, what you can do is just have some big tubs of water and just let them sit out. Uh, for 24 hours for the chlorine to evaporate out of them. If you've got like a little pump or something, you can aerate that water and it will just um, dechlorinate itself much quicker because the chlorine in the tap water will kill off the little cocoons that the egg, uh, the worms lay so, and the worms don't really like the chlorine water, uh, water either. So, so yeah, so I'm going to fill up several of these. I've got a big tub at the back here and um, yeah, we'll fill that up and we'll, I've got a couple of old socks and stocking that we'll fill up with worm castings and let that steep in there. And we'll start putting it out on the garden. So I've just got a stocking here. I'm just going to chuck some worm castings in it. Because we're making a, a big tub of it, I'm just going to fill it right up. One be filled up. I'll just pop that there for now. I'll pop it over there. I've got a, another an old compression sock, a couple of old compression socks up there. <laughs> Should be fine. Obviously breathable. Could have tied in a knot. <laughs> oh dear. So the benefits of using worm castings in your garden is it actually helps put microbes and nutrients back into the soil and helps to strengthen up the root system of your plants. You can also even um, have your solution in a a sort of a spray bottle but you probably want to filter that out otherwise a little tiny bits might block up the little jets on your your sprayer so you could just spray all the, the uh, leaves of your plants there we go. so I'll probably even grab a peg for this one I can't tie it up so once you made up this worm tea you actually really want to use it straight away you don't want to leave it for a week sitting in your shed if you haven't used it all that's why I think the ones that you buy from the hardware stores and that, or garden centres, they sell worm tea. But it's just not really that beneficial because all the microbes would have died off by then. What do you know? So I've just popped this in water. Let's see what we're at the bottom there. Bit of liquid. You can just let them sit in there for half an hour. Just want the consistency of the colour of like a wheat tea. So, yeah, so we can actually submerge all these in there. Anyway, I've got my watering can, so we'll dunk it in and start putting it on the plants. What I'm going to do is start on here. This is just um, put this little netting up yesterday, and just going to pull this over. Just got some carrots, got some radishes growing in there. I've got a little uh, midget melon in there as well. So I'm just going to a nice drink for these plants. So these ones don't have any flowers on them, so the bees, I'm not like keeping the bees out or anything. So onto the next batch here. Just got some chilies that have been going there for a few years. These capsicums, just give them a good drink. Just over here I have some leeks. We've got some more silver beet here. And I did plant in some zinnias flowers that I had 
There's a seedling, a nice tomato bush here. Over here I do have some more radishes growing. Some of them as well. This is a bit of a windbreak here, it gets a little bit windy through this part. Sorry about the wind if it is kind of windy. I have ordered a lavalier, but it won't be here for another week. And that should help. This is my garlic. I think there's a couple of avocado trees at the back here where I'm watering. They've just popped up and something else has popped up here. So what I'm going to do with this one, I've got a great big bucket here, which I'm just going to pour onto my ficus tree. I've had this for about 15 years and it's actually growing really well now. It's gotten bigger so I just repotted it not not so long back so I'll just give it a nice big drink. I thought it's come inside it's getting a little windy out there so if you liked watching that video with the benefits of using worm tea in the garden please subscribe to my channel and press the notification button so you don't miss any more of my videos or even share my video amongst your friends that would be interested in worm farming as well. So until the next video, thanks for watching and we'll see you then. Okay, bye.